An exhibition shot from Angles McManus. He will concede the frame now. He holds his hand up. Foul. 对手解球失败，一个个奇怪的手势，纷纷离场。这是生气了吗？这是二零一六年世锦赛半决赛。让我们来回顾一下这局比赛，看看究竟发生了什么。麦克马努斯会做出如此举动？马努斯一杆远台打进，但是白球位置无比的尴尬，黑球不多不少，刚好被挡住。镜头随即给到特写，马努斯气得口吐芬芳，这运气真是背到家了。一番思考后，马努斯选择捡黄球，可惜完全没有避开，直接就在高分区给丁俊晖留下了机会。What a gift in this very important first frame. Wow. Yeah, that was that was a mile out, wasn't it, from where it needed to be? 虽然红球堆还未全部散开，局势不是十分明朗。不过外围有五六颗红球都可以担下，这样的局面，即便丁俊晖无法顺利直接拿下，也可以建立一定的比分优势。Nine. 15. The red is there. Are... You see the red just at the edge of the bunch. The one Stephen mentioned, but there's a clear path through to it now. 23. Purposely leaving an angle. That's the best kiss in the world. 操作猛如虎之后，丁俊晖拿到了三十五的优势，中断了进攻，局面再次交到马努斯手中。Well, funny enough, I was chatting to Alan about the rest shots and how many he's. 一杆连打带 K， 还是不尽人意。马努斯再次气得口吐芬芳。他的本意想要借停白球，同时来叫左边顶带，可惜没能成功，进攻只能中断，暂时转为防守。Just c a n n o t on the left hand side of it. Al m c m a n u s eight. Been fairly lucky. He might be in trouble after the next shot, but once. 两个回合之后，马努斯抓到机会打走红球，白球停在黄球后面，给丁俊晖妥妥的安排上一个高质量斯诺克。此时整个球形已经散开，这个防守极具威胁，基本上不管从什么角度解球，都很难保证不留机会。经过四分多钟的思考，丁俊晖也只能是尝试一杆。至于有效无效，反正责任尽到。这杆也不出意外，给马努斯留下了上手机会。What a chance now to take this first frame. Such an important frame for Alan McManus. Needs 100% concentration now. You're sitting as. Nine. It's just about okay. Didn't. Oh, what a horrendous kick! 开打到第三套红球，意外就又发生了。马努斯一脸愤愤然的表情。这杆遭遇静电袭击，白球未能走到预期的位置，只能无奈的中断进攻，转为防守。Because he's running past the red, he's got the blue or the green, and all of a sudden he's not on anything. No fault of his own. 
Alan McManus, 17. Play this well. Seven. Well, not the best shot in the world. He overhit that one. Fifteen. So it just needs this red. Twenty-one. Just about. No, it wouldn't go, so he did play the snooker. He might have fluked this red. The red's in. Alan debating whether to come back to the table. He's coming to the table, but barring snookers. An exhibition shot from Angles McManus. He will concede. He